I'm Juma Kiawe, the coordinator of Feminine Kid Development Foundation, one of our projects, Street to School, where we get unschooled girl child out of the street to school. These girl, uh, these girls are indigent. They are often they are the highly marginalized girl child that live in communities and areas where they cannot access education, and even when they can access it, can they don't have the financial um, muscle to finance their education. So we come in as the voice of the voiceless girl child to break the gap and take them to school. We don't eat in the house. Uh, sometimes we just drink Gary and sleep. I checked at school because my daddy can't afford like, the car. My primary school was uncompleted, but we were, we were few. We were few in the school. So the any time we didn't pay our school fees, the woman sent us home. And if she sent us home, we're not going to come the same, that same day. We we'll look for money to pay it, but we can't afford the money. Because of this reason, my elder ones have gone to the village because my parents cannot pay their school fees. Ajagula community is a community that have a um, high percentage of girls that are unschooled, that are on the school. And the reason they are on the school is that they have major challenges in that area. Um, lack of access to quality education, the environment is not conducive for a girl to grow. Um, girls get pregnant as early as 12, 13 years, which um, invariably put a stop to their education. You see, a walk on the street will expose you to young boys, young guys smoking, and girls are even actually afraid to go out, to go to school, because uh, they serve as security threats to them. In this, my area, when people fight, I get scared. I think they will arm some people in our environment, or they will arm or rob some people, or our house. In this area, the road is not good, it's bad, no water, we lack water too much. No, we don't do history, history, we stress ourselves to go to school. Making uh, a biblical allusion to um, Ajegunle community, uh, the question comes to mind that can something good come out of Nazareth? Yes, something good can come out of um, Ajegunle community. We met a, a girl. Um, success, you'll be amazed at how bright this girl is and she has not been able to find um, a good school or a sponsor to take her out of the environment that is not too conducive for learning and we have many more success in that environment um, ostensibly living on the water and cannot come out to go to school maybe in the rainy season maybe because they can afford a good uniform some of these girls stay back in school because they can't even when um, the, the government education is free because they can't afford a good sander or maybe they change their uniform a uniform that costs a thousand five hundred because of that they ask them to sell fish and they hawk fish on the street and they can't go back to school because of a thousand five or because they can't get a good, sc good uh, school supplies for them to go to school so we have many more of success in that area. We have many more favor. We have one, more than 1,000 of those girls living on the water that don't have um, access to good education. Uh, I think together we can do more to break the chain of poverty by educating the girl child. My dream is to know, to leave this environment where I can go to a better school, where I can, um, where I can concentrate on my education. If I, if I get a scholarship that is bigger than this my school I was staying in, or this community, I'll be very, very excited. I want to be a lawyer and I want people to support me to achieve my dreams.